Hey guys, today I want to show you a tour of the office building that I'm heating using cryptocurrency miners. So we did this last year, it's fall now again and we're getting into some colder weather. And so we started firing up a lot of these uh, miners for the purpose of uh, both securing cryptocurrency network but also heating the building because you know uh, miners put off a lot of heat. And so come along, I'll show you sort of how we have them placed throughout the building and how we're accomplishing uh, heating the building with these miners. So this is one of the this is one of the first miners uh, that we built and put here at the office. It's running some AMD graphics cards, 280s I think, 280Xs AMD. This particular rig we just switched over recently to NiceHash, and so it's producing about 92 cents per day, and that's gross. That's t that's the total that it produces. So out of that we have to pay electricity too. Uh, just about half of this with our electrical rates will be um, will be. Half of that 92 cents, so 50 cents is going to be paying off the electric bill. So this makes about 50 cents profit per day or $15 a month. But the nice thing about it is it produces all this heat. And so if you hold your hand over there, it's significantly warm. Um, it's not hot, hot, but it's definitely warm air that just kind of heats this whole room. And these three cards um, are is enough to keep this, take the chill off this room. Um, another miner, um, so this is actually one that's just in the case. But we have these two cards. These are um, GTX 1060s, 1070s. Yeah, these are 1070s. And so we did have a six card rig that we disassembled. And now we use this uh, computer as a video editing machine. We do some gaming on it, but in its, in its downtime, we'll actually run uh, some mining and do mining on the CPU, which is an eight core processor, and also using these two GPUs just to get a little bit. And this will produce about um, a little over a dollar, between a dollar and dollar fifty per day of cryptocurrency. So this is sort of the uh, north side of the building. When we go to the south side of the building, we have a storage room over here that we just keep the door open, and that lets the heat kind of flow through. We set up fans to kind of circulate a little bit. But in this, this is a larger room here, and we have another six-card uh, GPU rig. These are uh, 1080. What are they, 1080 Ti's? And so this one is doing Ethereum and Zcash. We switch between the two. Currently it's mining Ethereum. Um, and this one is running ETHOS. So it's a dedicated operating system just for uh, doing mining. It's a Linux-based operating system. Um, so you'll notice a lot of these, we're actually mining with quite a few different mining pools and using quite a few different uh, mining um, algorithms and mining software. So we use dedicated wiring on 30 amp breakers with number 10 wire to all of our miners. And we use these PDUs. So these are rack mountable uh, and they're, they have different ratings. This is probably like a 16 amp. These bigger ones here are, are 24 amps, I believe. Um, and they have the option that we can monitor them. We don't do it now, but we can actually monitor and switch off so we can do a, a reboot remotely. And we can monitor the power usage based on either certain banks or even certain outlets on these and they just use like a 30 amp twist lock outlet like this and they have a rubber cord um, which is really nice and we we run some rubber cord i don't know if i have some in this room but we run rubber cord to some of these um, and it helps it, that we can move the miner around at different parts of the year without having to rewire or pull conduit or get inspections for the electrical work this room we're going into here is sort of our tech bench so we do computer repair and a lot of different it services out of this building but we had a little closet over here, and it's actually where our gas furnace, uh, we just kind of uh, set up and we cut a hole in the ventilation system so that if we want to, we can actually turn on the fan without starting up the gas furnace, and we can heat the whole building from this room. So we have some different racks that we've set up in the past, but for now, since it's just fall, we're just using these ASIC miners. Uh, we have, these are all Bitcoin miners, so we have an S5, an S7, and some EBIT miners. They're all a little bit older miners, but because we have a really good electrical rate and because these are putting off heat anyway, um, even the ones like the S5 that's just sort of breaking even and not really making any profit by the time we pay for the power, uh, at least it does produce some heat for the building. So occasionally we'll turn it on. It's off right now, but if, if it got a little cold in here, we would turn it on and basically get free heat. Okay, this is at the front of the building. This is our retail storefront. And we also have, we've had different things. So we like to put them in little enclosures like these ones over here. Um, and we have a, a nice miner right here that's just, we're actually rebooting it up. But this miner is a, 
a GPU rig, but I put it inside of a case. So this is a Cooler Master case that I found on Amazon. I think it's maybe $60 or $70 for this case. But it makes it really nice because we can just put the cards right in there. We have a giant fan that on top just kind of circulating that heat. And so the, um, I, this is in the process of rebooting right now. These are RX 580s, they're AMD cards. And so this rig here, um, we've mostly used this to mine Zcash, um, but you can find a, a, a bunch of different algorithms with it and it puts out quite a bit of heat from the top. But the nice part about this is we can set it anywhere. You could use this at home, you could use it here like in the storefront and it doesn't look too, too bad. And also if you have kids or people like touching it, um, the case kind of protects it from that. So that's why we choose to have this one up here in the storefront. Uh, well, hopefully you found this video informative. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick tour of what we do here and kind of how we've used these miners to produce heat in the building. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll catch you in the next video.